hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So we are officially halfway through Ratchet, and um, we have realized that Mildred Ratchet is very manipulative and is playing all different aspects and angles of the show. We have learned that Dr. Hanover um, has a drug problem and that he cut off this person's arms and legs and now the mom of that person is trying to kill him but Ratchet killed the hitman and maybe Ratchet is a lesbian? We don't know because she like at first she was like, oh no, no, that bad job, that's a mental thing, and then she, but then in the last episode she helped free the two women, and she was like, let's get dinner with the other lady. I just realized that I didn't mention anybody but Nurse Ratchet, and so if you haven't seen this series, then that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I don't know where we go from here. Nurse Ratchet has a date with the mayor's, with the governor's secretary, um... We don't know if Nurse Bucket is going to find the two missing patients that Nurse Ratchet helped free. Um, and I hope we find out more about her army days. I don't know. We've hinted at it a few in a few episodes. Like, we've gotten glimpses of it. But I hope we see more of Nurse Ratchet's army days. So, no more diddle dally. Let's get right into episodes 5 and 6 of the 2020 series starring Sarah Paulson. Ratchet. <laughs> Dr. Hanover? Ah, I gotta do a little sniff. I love these old cars. They're beautiful. Speaking of beautiful! But I have to tell you right now, I simply will not allow you to do that. I am... Are they actually brother and sister? Because in one episode she mentioned that she got him off. So... That there were deaths at the hospital. Are you blackmailing me? Yes, she is! Maybe you sliced his throat with your own hands. She's crazy. Which is why I think it would be a good idea. She hasn't blinked at all. Crazy. I thought you might wish to strike me, Doctor. And that's why we met in public. It would be wise to do what I ask. And just like that, Nurse Ratchet is head nurse. Bucket's gonna be pissed. Who could take my place? You don't want to know, girl. Look at her eyebrows. She got great eyebrows, too. With gratitude that I am your new head nurse. Congratulations! Yay for you! Where the staff and patients can enjoy some time together in a social setting. I don't know how that's going to work, girl. We will hold a spring fling with staff and patients. Is this just to set up Edmund and Dolly? You have to convince all of them you're insane but how is that gonna help prove to the governor that you don't need to die for you oh petty i love it so i've decided to be a professional good for you girl he has feelings for you <gasps> what don't lie to her like that and with your steady stream of gifts you have pierced it i think he doesn't know how oh no he couldn't approach you because of your position of authority. And now... I never thought I would feel bad for Nurse Bucket, but I do right now. I can't stand that woman. <laughs> School of music. Is she really, or is she the next patient in the asylum? If Mendelssohn heard you, he would shoot himself in the head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck you in the face. Jeez. I played for the king and queen of England, do you hear me? Are you really actually that? Why don't you tell me why you're here? Okay, so she needs some help. Got it. Lately I find I... I simply can't remember things. So dementia? They never told me. The drugs kept me awake for days. Oh, that's scary. Amphetamines are what they gave you. Oh, they gave her uppers. I see. You told them your name was Undine Duquette. Who is that? I don't know. What? Ma, mommy. <laughs> what? Mommy needs baby Daffy to make her some nice warm soup. So this is like, um, multiple personality disorder? Warm soup. Get your motherfucking hands Ooh. off me! 
Oh, me. Good lord, who are you now? He's here. Who? Hitler! Hitler, who are you now? I humiliated him. Did this Not actress get an award because she needs it? Yeah! Oh my god, all right, girl. Come Holy shit. Me, there was so many things happening. First chair violin of the New York Symphony Orchestra. So multiple personality disorder? I don't know. You're suffering from what is known as multiple personality okay, disorder. Okay, wow. That's that's wild. The trauma in your past caused your psyche to split. So she just took on different personalities that like like a famous woman? How does that help, you know? Trust me. I don't know. I don't know much about multiple personality disorder. Like, are these personalities that her psyche made up, or are these personalities that like she read about once and then her mind took on as her? You see what I'm asking? I don't know anything about multiple personality disorder. But this actress deserves all the awards, and I hope she got at least one. She's an extraordinary case, which makes the proper treatment all the more important. Good point by him. And he will give you all the money you could possibly need. How are you gonna hold your boss's face like that? Big weird. <laughs> oh, Lord, we eat oysters. We both want that monster to get exactly what he deserves. Oh, what a tangled web she has created. You rebuffed my advance in no uncertain terms. You told me I was presuming all the wrong things. Oh, I love Sarah in that cream color. That's beautiful. I do have feelings for you. Ah! She didn't make it better. Oh. Oh, sad. This episode better not make me cry. I did my makeup today. <gasps> They're holding hands! So I've decided to organize a dance. She could ask her to go with her. As my companion? That's right. You better be careful. You literally work at an asylum that literally was burning lesbians in water baths. Be careful, Mildred. Well, she's head nurse, so I guess she's in charge. I don't know. I don't know! It's a risky game she's playing with where she works. Oh, this is gonna be that fancy lady, huh? Oh, absolutely is. So is Mildred gonna give her Dr. Hanover in exchange for maybe crazy eccentric lady I'd helping like her get Edmondson Tullin? Ed, what, getting her brother? I'm off to find more suitable lodging. You'll be hearing from me shortly. <laughs> the monkey's in a cute little matching dress. I'm flying in my decorator. Where's your monkey? You're flying in your decorator somewhere to decorate a hotel room? This woman is one interesting character. He told me what he did to your son. Damn! Oh, I don't want to re-watch that shit! He was sitting there perfectly still, completely serene. Where's this gonna go? His beautiful little hands Oh, he had a future in music until, you know, the doctor sawed off his limbs. Hanover, or whatever he's calling himself these days, must die. Appropriate response. I would like one million dollars. Oh, nice. Okay. And I will not be able to provide for him as I have been. Why? Why? That's weird. No one takes advantage of me. She's not trying to take advantage of you. You want a hitman. She has an in. That's gonna cost extra. I was wondering if you would be willing. You got it. As my date. Mm, you have to say yes or Mildred's gonna kill your ass. Is there a uh, kind of corsage you would like? Aw, he's doing a little extra good. Patients displaying multiple personalities tend to be quite easy to hypnotize. Is that real, you think? I've never been hypnotized. I would be delighted. Please sit. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Trick her? Is he gonna try to hypnotize her? Just relax. <laughs> and hypnotize her into thinking that she's not in love with him? As you fall into a deep sleep. Is this gonna work or not? You wish to go to the dance alone. Oh, he's trying to break up with her. I wouldn't miss that dance for anything. Womp womp, failure. So are you gonna pick me up or 
Should we just meet here? Or? Just meet here, Bucket. It's fine. Just meet here. <laughs> I feel so sad. She's so excited. I went out and bought the prettiest pink dress I could find. I can't wait to see it. I've never been to a dance before. Mother didn't trust me enough. Makes sense. I took a look at your file. I read about what you did to those priests. And you got so worked up and hot and bothered, girl. That man put rage inside you because I have it in me too. Rage? Okay, well his turned him into a murderer and you just made you horny. And whatever you and I did in our past, how it'll be over. Okay, honestly, they do make a cute couple here. They do make a cute couple. I love you, Dolly. She didn't say it back. She didn't say it back. Oh my heavens, that's an ass. How'd you get in here? I told the guards you have lights so they wouldn't escort me inside. <laughs> Good plan. All I need from you is something small and metal and sharp. Uh, don't like this plan. And then I'll cut myself. What? What? Good. There has to be another way, <laughs> right? Hitler's gonna walk through that door. An okay, well, she's not on her sedatives anymore. I want you to keep staring at the disc and think only of sleep. I hope this works for her. Ah, play Shostakovich's concerto number one. You're almost there. Keep working on it. Please thank Apollo and Undine and baby Taffy for protecting you. I'm so anxious right now for this. Please open your eyes. I'm so scared. How you doing? Hi. You experience a severe trauma and several personalities emerge from your psyche. So now you got to feel the pain to get through it, girl. You needn't be afraid to tell me what happened to you. You're safe, Charlotte. Why do I feel like this is about to be the saddest story I've ever heard in my life? I was alone. I was attacked by four young white men. Oh, no. Am I gonna cry? They took off my clothes and locked me in a closet. Nine days locked in a closet in a basement? They made me eat dog food. Oh my God. He told me he would let me go if I agreed not to press charges against the boys. What? I think it might've been one of the boys' father. Of course it was. Thank you, Charlotte. Go back to sleep. That's so sad. That's so sad. Now, when she wakes up, are the multiple personalities still going to be there? I mean, I guess we're about to find out. I'm just stressed. This event no longer controls you. All right. I have my fingers crossed. I want Charlotte to be happy and okay. Did it work? Relief. Oh, she feels good. She feels good right now. Great. Look at you, Dr. Hanover. Something actually worked. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how you listened to that and not cried during that meeting. Well, I mean, I guess I just listened to it and didn't cry, but you get it. I think I helped someone today. You did help someone today, and I'm big proud of you. Look at that car. That's a cute car. <laughs> Come on in. Are they friends? Decadent. <sighs> Lilies of the valley. Oh, she really just detached from reality, huh? Yes. I will go to the dance with you. Oh, See? yeah. No, not on this planet. He's free to be himself. And after the dance... <laughs> Why is she drinking like that? I wouldn't be surprised if we were honeymooning within a month. What? Help me practice my foxtrot, my box step, my waltz. Oh. Bucket's going all out for this, and I'm so happy for her. Now, hold on. We're not in the 20s anymore, though, girly pops. Look so happy. <laughs> well, there are two things. I need more adult sleepovers. This is what I want. I want to get a little wine drunk with my bestie and dance around the living room. Is revenge on Mildred. Oh, I can't wait for this. 
I wouldn't shed a tear if she dropped dead tomorrow. Jesus Christ, Bucket. Looking for all the dirt that you can. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> You're some shady bitches. I love it. Table for one, please. Oh Lord, oh Lord, do they know that they're there there? They're together at the same time? He does, she might not. I'm already, I'm actually really stressed for Dr. Hanover right now. Cause that lady strikes me as somebody who would just stab him in the middle of this restaurant. <gasps> she just went there to scare him. I'm falling apart, I'm so <laughs> Whoa, breaking, having a breakdown. If you want me to help you, then I need to think. <laughs> and you have got to get it together. She must have secrets too. And that makes her vulnerable. I ain't got enough brain cells to deal with this much blackmailing on so many different people that Ratchet can. Yo, that green wallpaper is crazy. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> and... And if she followed him all day, did she follow him to your place? That I would just blow his brains right out of his skull. Well, that's aggressive. I am on your side. I cannot go to prison. Right, that's why you didn't shoot him. That's why you need to hire Mildred. I'll pay you $100,000 and not a penny more. That's not even as much as you were willing to pay the other guy. I'll do it. I will kill him for you. For a hundred thousand? Really? I go with the big. Huh. What a power move pulling her in like that. What a power move. For a hundred thousand dollars, girl, you asked for a million. Aw, oh, him practicing for the dance. That's sweet. I've told them you're part of a Vanguard insanity experiment. What's gonna keep this guard from shooting him? His mind is elsewhere. And I'm in charge here. Damn! He'd never seen a performance so loud! <laughs> Honestly, he seems like a fun guy to hang out with. Where'd you get a dance, Miss Wells? Aww, this is so special for her! I'd really like to hit the floor. Yes, girl, hit the floor! Oh, Miss Bucket is feeling herself, I tell you that. <laughs> Not her carrying a flask. <laughs> she came to the dance. That's so exciting. I'm just here to dance with my man. We love that for you, Nurse Bucket. Get into it. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, I hate needles. Look, he's high as a kite and ready to bust a move. Look at him. He's so alert right now, but he's getting into it! Good gracious, Dr. Hanno. Oh my heavens, get into it! Wow, this is so much happening. We don't know who to look at, who to keep up with. What an amazing transition. She's a great nurse, isn't she? Don't be too obvious. Oh, yeah. She's a peach. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, Bucket. I'm here with Mildred. As uh, a chaperone. Uh, watch yourself. Interesting. Bucket will start shit, girl. You better be careful. It's just the last policeman I met was not a kind man. Well, look at me. He's a kind man. Get on up, princess. About as pretty as those pearls. <gasps> Stop! I love this for her. This is so special. Oh, Dolly, be careful. <sighs> Something's gonna go wrong with this plan, and I just don't know what yet. You're not a nurse anymore. Live your own life. Oh, good for you. Good for you, Dolly. Good for you, Dolly. You gotta be real fast. The car's outside. Is he gonna ruin Ratchet's plan with this plan with Dolly? Where people dance, usually more than once. <sighs> she wants to slow dance with you, Dr. Hanover. 
You better be careful. We can't do that here. If I could have the honor. <gasps> this is special with Huck. This is special. It's not personal, girlfriend. She literally treats lesbianism as a mental disorder here. <laughs> you will get yourselves omitted. <laughs> Stop it. I'd be content with a little house, white picket fence. One day and she's planning their house? Since the day I set foot in this hospital, I have loathed you. Oh, no. I am sick and tired of women telling me what to do, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Oh, 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 oh. I will strike you in the face. You can't make those kind of threats, Dr. Hanover. And the governor's secretary is right there. Is he gonna go with his sister or is he gonna go with Dolly? Please calm down. It was all in my head. Oh, poor Bucket. Let's get you cleaned up and back out there. No. You go tear up the dance floor by yourself, baby girl. That's what you are. Oh, Betsy, a real woman. A She's real become... woman. Petty, but a real woman. Clever and wise. Mm. You are a thousand wonderful things that that walking pile of garbage will never be. Do you hear me? Aw, this is so nice, even though they hate each other. I will not listen to you ever again. Quit your mewling, you pathetic little child. Ooh, ooh. You have destroyed that woman. I don't care. He said, I don't care. I am your superior. You are very, very mistaken. Oh, what a power move. Showtime. What are you gonna do about Dolly? What are, what, what, what is your plan right now? Is he gonna hurt Dolly? Oh my God! And we just healed Charlotte! Well, now that's gonna undo, ain't it? Oh my God! Wow! He's choosing Dolly. It's all right. Over his sister. This could not have bi oh my god, this could not have backfired more for Mildred. Dolly just wanted to be, just wanted to be, I don't know, she just wanted to be that. And now she's triggered the multiple personality disorder again. Why'd you have to shoot her? She was that wasn't kidding. part of the plan. Stay with me. Somebody wanna call 911? Quiet town, okay? Oh, now yeah, she's scared of the murderer? Oh no, who saw that coming? Not me trying to look around, try and see what's in the car. Oh wow, they for real ran, okay. Really? Is it over? Oh my gosh, okay, well. Let's talk about it. <coughs> let's talk about it. Well. A lot of things just went wrong. Um, also, why did Miss Briggs, like, keep trying to hold her hand? I mean, like, cause you know, now, now Bucket's got something on Ratchet, but a lot of things happened between that moment and the very end. So maybe, maybe Nurse Bucket, we're on to other things because Hanover really showed his ass and threatened to hit one of his employees. This is a 1940, so I don't know what the laws are on that, but. He did threaten to hit a woman in front of a lot of people, okay? And now the biggest murderer that's being kept on a property, gone, with one of the nurses, gone, and a woman got shot! Right when, right when Mildred Ratchet was like coming to terms, she was like, I gotta do it on my own terms. I don't know what's gonna happen in episode six. I don't know if Mrs. Briggs is gonna pull through. So I need to shut up and we need to watch episode six. They got a set! Oh, I didn't think about them having, uh, you know, you know, hound dogs looking for a scent to find these two. Yeah, what's your plan now? Dolly, what are you doing? Well, she can't run very fast in that dress. Throw him off our scent. We've seen it in like a million movies. Oh, well, and we know everything that happens in movies is true. Well, I don't know what month y'all are in right now, but if it's a spring fling, I hope you're not somewhere that... It's really cold, you're gonna get hypothermia. It's deserted. Oh, nice, y'all couldn't have gotten luckier. Oh, Edmund, what have you done? That's what I said, Ratchet, that's what I said, Mildred. 
Oh, so she's not doing great. Ooh, wet cutting sound. Disgusting. Okay, well, she's still alive. On a ventilator, but still alive, so that's good. Wow. Medical instruments have come such a long way, haven't they? There you go. Hold her hand. Yeah. Kind of surprised her ex-husband isn't there, you know? I mean, it did just happen, so maybe he doesn't know. I have a confession to make. Go ahead. The truth about who I really am. But it's something that I've never told anyone. Oh, I'm ready for this one. I can't keep lying to you. I have to tell you the truth. Her being unconscious doesn't care. Oh! Oh, her eyes are open! Okay, she's alive. Nurse! She's okay. Nurse! Well, now we don't get to know the truth, damn it. Aw, stop it! But I want to know her backstory real bad. Y'all got real lucky finding a completely abandoned house. They're animals, too. I wonder if there are bones around here. Oh my god, weirdo. Your teeth are chattering. Well, y'all wet and it's probably cold. I'll make you warm. <laughs> first things first, Dolly. Goodness gracious, Dolly. Insatiable. First my bubble. Is she mad now? I'm just too busy having your hissy fit. Girl, who's having a hissy fit? You! <laughs> SpaghettiOs? Holy Toledo, Dolly, put it down. Dolly is crazy, crazy. <sighs> Could have killed Dolly me. Dolly is scary, actually. You see me acting like you're gonna kill me? Well, his was part of the plan and yours wasn't. You kind of scare me, Dolly. I scare you? That's what I'm saying! I don't know, you're right, let's drop it. <laughs> We're stuck with each other anyways. Okay, so which one of them is gonna kill the other one? That's my question. What you doing, Dolly? I'm not sleeping in that rat shit house. You'd rather sleep in the hay where more rats are? Why do you think I'm making this bed for us? I'm trying to be romantic. This whole situation has me stressed out. I want to kiss you so bad it's driving me crazy. I love you. She won't say it back. She hasn't said it back. Oh, Lord. You gonna mess around and get pregnant. We really just watched it. Oh, that's a butt! That's a butt! <sighs> Yo, she kind of wants to choke him. <sighs> Get into it, girl. Move them hips. Damn. I imagine that I was Jane Russell. I don't even know who Jane Russell is. I love you so much. Oh, she finally said it. She finally said it. Okay. You're my beautiful magic man. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start calling Hubba my beautiful magic man. <laughs> Poor little fella. Found breakfast. I'm hungry enough to eat that rooster. Called it. I'll throw in the stewed tomatoes. You just have to catch him first and wring his neck and pluck him. Oh well, I don't want to watch this. You can kill four priests and slit a nice guy's throat, but you can't kill a chicken. That's kind of what I'm wondering too. Well, I suggest you watch and learn, because you're going to have to do it next time. Dolly's going to do this? I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. He's dead. He's not in any pain. <sighs> I mean, I knew how to kill a rooster. Like, I knew how. I just I didn't want to see it, you know? Doctor tells me you're out of the woods. <gasps> Congratulations. How do you feel? I have been shot. <laughs> At least I'm laughing. So that's something. What's the plan now for you two? Would you please find her some age appropriate programming? I asked her to put it on. Why is Mildred upset about this? Mildred, you okay? I could use some company. Are you scared of puppets? Are you all right? Beep. I'm so happy they're happy. Well, 
kind of, sort of, not really, but... They're gonna go! That would be fun! Modesto's right on the way. We could see a marionette show and have a nice dinner afterwards. That would be so much fun! Maybe even a, an overnight. An overnight? I don't want to do that. What? Why? Well, then forget it. Just an idea. Mildred, what is your problem? Is it because it's puppets? Because I thought it would be fun, Mildred. That's all. To feel like a kid. I wish that I could have met Mildred Ratched before the world got to her. Ooh. Boom, roasted. And never let anybody in. Oh, she's being read to filth right now. And I can't do this anymore. Back and forth. I don't blame you. I don't blame her. Life is just too short. She literally just got shot and you can't even go on a date with her? And I guess I'll have to forgive you for having wasted mine. Ooh. Oh, damn! I am heartbroken but proud of her for standing up for herself. I'll go. I'll go with you. Because she guilted you? It's too late for that shit, Mildred. It was very illuminating for me, too. So why are you being bitchy? So I'm happy to do whatever you want to do. I'm happy to do whatever you want to do, only after you threaten to break up with me. <laughs> oh man, y'all got some fro row seats. All right, get into it, girls. I love that for you. Are you ready for my puppet friends to tell you a story? Yeah! Uh, so, when you hear something funny, what do you do? Laugh. Thank you for coming with me. And when you see something She's having sad, a great time. A brother and a sister who lose their mommy and daddy and go on a great adventure. Oh my god, okay, so this is triggering for Mildred. Who grew up in the Great Depression, whose mommy drank until she was blackout drunk. Oh, okay, good. So the little girl was sent to a foster home. What? You could just say that back then? I don't ever want to hear your mouth open again, girl. Oh no. What's your name? Edmund. Oh, so they are brother and sister. Foster brother and sister. Got it. No. Talking. Uh, no, no, don't. With a wrench? Writing that they were biological siblings. Oh, so they never had to be separated. So that they would never be separated. That's kind of kind. No matter how well they behaved, their foster parents hated them. <laughs> this is very sad. Seems they were often just taken in for the government stipend they received. That sounds accurate for a lot of foster homes, I bet. Very good news. She had found their forever family. This guy is sweating off his makeup, and I don't know what's creepier. Daddy, who lived in a house. Puppets or the guy? So overjoyed to meet their new mommy and daddy. Oh, no. Candy and all the ice cream they could eat. Well, that sounds great. Down in the basement, there was a puppet theater. A puppet show inside a puppet show? They were the ones who were expected to perform. What? To watch them perform unnatural acts on each other. Oh my god! It's gotten worse! What? This is fucked up! In the worst way. They have to pay for what they've done. Yeah, I agree. He took a pair of razor sharp scissors and gouged out their eyes. I mean, appropriate response in my opinion. Ah, get out of here! Oh my heavens to Betsy. Finally, she sat down beneath a tree and cried. I mean, I mean, what else were you supposed to do? Get arrested? <laughs> How dare you! Oh, 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 Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, Mildred. What kind of place is this? Mildred, mm -mm, not the, oh. But now is Mildred gonna open up to her girlfriend to talk about what happened? No. Are y'all on a ledge of a mountain? I don't think y'all should just be pulling over here. What is going on with you? And I know you want to talk to me about it. Because she woke up while you were spilling your guts. Well, I suppose you'd say I was an orphan. Is she really going to be open and honest? This is nice. Pleasantly surprised. Forged our paperwork 
to say that we were biological siblings. So she hasn't blinked at all. They abused us. Well, every family abused y'all. Most of the families abused us. Okay, well, as long as you were honest about it. They forced my brother and I to perform sexual acts. Well, now I know what she meant by when she said that she would never do that again. And he told me to run. And she did. That one day I would find him. Is she going to tell him that he's her brother? And now I finally have. Take a guess, Gwendolyn, take a guess. My brother is Edmund Tullison. <gasps> she told her. She told her. Get up. We overslept. For what? What do y'all have to get to? It's not a job. What do you mean you overslept? What about some eggs for us? We don't got any eggs. I was say, when'd you get eggs? How's about a little love before we hit the Lordy B Dolly, you are just a horny little devil. Later. Drop your weapon. <gasps> oh damn! Out the back. Go, go. Bet you would have wished you would have had sex first. I'll tell him I kidnapped you. <laughs> no. You won't go to jail or nothing. I mean, she did shoot that lady, though. You didn't make her do that. But maybe it was just never in the cards. Is he gonna kill her? Why do I feel like he's gonna kill her? You have no right to punish her for something I did. It was all my idea. Dolly, Dolly, what are you doing, Dolly? No! Okay, well, Dolly's gonna get shot now. You chose this option instead of visits to jail to see him? You're gonna rot in hell, you son of a bitch. Wow, Dolly, he was really trying to protect you. Oh yeah, take him right back to the place that he escaped from. That seems like a good idea. Oh, Mildred's pissed. Okay, Hannibal Lecter. You should thank your lucky stars these men didn't blow your head off. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot they were trying to build him his own little shed out there to keep him in. I forgot about that part. You're looking well today, Nurse Bucket. Uh-uh, don't say that to her. Miss Walsh's alternate personalities all but disappeared. Here's her chart, Nurse Ratchet. Even after, even after the triggering event at the dance? It's Cratchit. It's Ratchet. It's Mildred Ratchet. Oh, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Was I speaking to you? You were not. But as head nurse... Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! Your nice little caboose, as he referred to it a few episodes ago, ain't doing no work on him today. It ends in a gunfight with two patrolmen and the accomplice dead. Yeah, this is not looking good for the hospital. It was the accomplice who shot me, not Edmund. Whose side are you on right now, Gwendolyn? Does this seem like a good week for my re-election campaign? No. Uh-uh. No. Dr. Hanover, our relationship is over. What does this mean now? You will sign this release saying that Tolson is sane. Oh, everything is backfiring in front of Ratchet. What do we do? Yeah. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, everything we've worked so hard for down the drain. I said to myself, this motherfucker, he's the crazy one. Mm. Well, what do we do now, y'all? At your being brave enough to keep this facility open after what happened. You're dumber than you look. What? I'm sorry? Rude? This hospital will be bankrupt in a month. I lied to him, so he signed a release. <gasps> oh, shit. Maybe his execution is something we could tease to the voters. Ah, use that for re-election. And let the public's interest in the case motivate them to turn out to the polls. Really shady and shitty, but I support it. Miss Briggs, you're fired. What? Sorry you got shot. And this episode is over? Oh my God, okay, well, let's talk about it. Well, a lot of things happened in these, these two episodes that I did not see coming. Um, we should have known that Dolly wasn't gonna act right. She was never just, she was a couple french fries short of a combo meal in the first place. All right, we just gotta be honest about that. I didn't see her busting out the barn when Edmund really had a surefire way of making sure she stayed innocent and out of jail. 
Anyways. And then Gwendolyn got fired. And then, I mean, Mildred actually told Gwendolyn everything. So now Gwendolyn, I mean, she's kind of torn. Well, not anymore now that she's fired. I mean, we have two episodes left in this. Seven and eight. I don't know how we wrap this up. I don't know what we do about the brother. I don't know what we do about Dr. Hanover. Oh, this last episode didn't even touch about the fact that Dr. Hanover still has a lady that wants to kill him. And Mildred accepted the challenge for $100,000. But is she going to do it now because Edmund's going to be in the front chair? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see next week. And I hope that you like, subscribe, stick around. Movies that I got coming up. What do I got coming up? Deliverance? Apollo 13? Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to give too much away, but those two for sure, because that's what I'm filming right now. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.